Anthem sucks so bad that EA finally had to admit it. We won, gamers. Gamers are rising again on this week's bowl of dude soup. It's not the thumbs up podcast. Yeah, keeps <laughs> <Game laughs> rising again. <laughs> that is, it's so dead. Like it's not even funny anymore. That meme. But, yeah, which almost makes it like post funny. It's well, postmodern. Well, meme. it was maybe. It, it was a meme before it was a meme. It's for not us. a meme. It's a way of life. Well, mm. heroes rise. Oh God, you're right. Oh, the machinima God. thing mm. was a oh. slogan long before gamers. I, they rise. were so close. I I should have convince them to make it gamers rise <laughs> that would have been awesome i think they stopped listening to us fully at that I think, point i think i hurt my jaw saying that, <laughs> Why <did> that? <laughs> something po- like my body's like don't say that out loud because you're a gamer you almost ah. get it out and then you get locked jaw with your gamers. Who, who games with their jaw they could have had like oh, they could have put that on the side of the building it would have been on coffee mugs <laughs> gamers rise but r-y-s-e and then they Speaking of gamers rising, hey. is rising. The, full, the ultra gamer is here. All right. Hey. Uh, I'm serious. They, yeah. even, uh, uh, they even made their logo green, like the Joker. Yeah, we have a couple of those talking cups here. We're talking about machine. We should start the podcast. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, you haven't started yet? Perfect. No, just, just intro. We just did the intro. Yeah. I really like these shirts. They're good. We just saw them on the They're couch. They're really nice. Like, I will wear this. New yeah. merch yeah. arriving like today. If you're on YouTube, go ah. check it out. Uh, and speaking of whoring for money, this podcast is sponsored by three sponsors, Stitch Fix, Fleur, and Calm. You get started today at stitchfix.com slash dude soup and keep an ex- or get an extra 25% off and you keep everything in your box. Uh, you can also go to fleur.com slash dude soup. Get your first three fleur fragrance samples at 20% off. And you can get 25% off a calm premium subscription at calm.com mm. slash dude. It's a weird URL to say. Uh, today's initial conversation topic is coming from an actual fantastic interview over at game gamedaily.biz with EA CEO Andrew Wilson. Uh, in of the many complicated, nuanced, and human topics that were talked about, he said something about Anthem. <laughs> uh, so, yay! Yeah, <laughs> I, we were wondering how they were doing. It's like bad. The, oh, Anthem's bad. It's like the Groundhog's Day. We got to check in on Anthem. I keep, exactly. I keep yeah. waiting for it to come back around, like everything on the internet does, where eventually somebody's going to go, guys. Let's you know what? Let's not go so hard on Anthem, but it still hasn't. No. People no. are still sitting all over yeah. it. So yeah. I, I keep waiting for it to happen. There's people defending Fallout 76. I don't see people. Defending. Yeah, but yeah. that think, game is fun. Oh, is it? In yeah, spite I haven't of played it. Sometimes. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. It's that Bethesda quality. It's bad fun. Yeah. Gotcha. So Anthem is still just broken. Nothing. Oh, okay. nothing. Remember when Bruce got stuck in the tree? <laughs> Were you <Yeah>. in that? <laughs> yeah, I know. I remember yeah. it happening. It was but cool. It, yeah, but I mean, like, I don't not know. bad fun, just bad. I just thought it was still a, a hollow experience. <laughs> it, yeah. No, it totally is. Okay, one hundred percent. And I think it still is. I don't know that it's changed. Yeah. So I'm so playing what they, weeks. What they, they say. Adding Lawrence. content. What did Andrew say? Uh, well, Lana, you you do. Want a good me to Andrew. read the quotes? Yeah, here it's at the top. Here, let me flip this around. Hopefully, that doesn't blow screen again. <clears throat> it's that big block quote. At oh, the yeah, top. that's right. She can do an Andrew Wilson impression. Oh, yeah. If we believe that at the very core the world wasn't compelling people, if we believed at the very core that the characters weren't compelling for people, or the javelin suits weren't compelling, or traversing, this is one sentence, Mm -hmm. or traversing the world and participating in the world wasn't compelling, then provided we hadn't made promises to our players, we might not invest further. Hang on, I need to figure out what that means. If we believed that at the very core... He's saying that if the if they didn't think the game was fun, they wouldn't well, keep, they, they wouldn't, wouldn't keep, keep yeah, they would have killed it already. Okay. They believe in anthems. Okay. They believe in anthems. The foundation is strong. Uh, it's not. IP lives for generations and runs in these seven to ten year cycles. So if I think about Anthem on a seven to ten year cycle, it may not have had the start that many of us wanted, including our players. I feel like that team is really going to get there with something special and something great because they've demonstrated that they can. Have they? <laughs> I, <laughs> Bio, I mean, I think he's talking about Bioware in yeah, general. But it's, yeah, it's yeah. completely different people at this point. So Andrew Wilson is Aussie. Yeah, I didn't know that. Hey. That's exactly how he speaks. It's a, but he does a lot of like sort yeah. of thumbs. Oh, he's CEO, CEO thumb okay. bullshit. CEO yeah. Stuff, yeah. He's wow. the Bond looking guy, or the Bond villain looking yes. guy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's Very nice blue suits. eyes. Think he really likes FIFA. He's he a, he's kiss, a developer. He started. He started cards. as a developer. Did he? That's what it said. Mm. His path is actually pretty heartwarming, provided you. Also forget that he is responsible for, responsible for the worst video game ever, Anthem. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to. We got to skew this negative somehow. Oh, I see. For the headline, this is YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. He, he's being awfully diplomatic here. Uh, definitely admits to the fact that Anthem had a rough launch and still isn't there by any stretch. Uh, I don't know though. How do you guys feel? Do you think Anthem's world is compelling? Do you? Th- would you like to see seven years of weird uh, arrival suit javelin men running around? And when I first played it, I really loved it. At E3. Two years ago, I thought it was really fun, and I like flying around in suits. And then, when I played it when it came out, 
I liked it for like a good 20 minutes. Oh. So it's like the, the foundation is there. It's uh-huh. a good demo. Uh, it just has a lot that it needs to change. <laughs> to, its, mm-hmm. to its credit, I played, I want to say I played about 10 hours of it and I really enjoyed what I got to play, but the barriers to entry were so, there were so many because there was like loading screens and there were glitches and my computer was crashing. But then once I got into the game and I was able to play with Omar and Jacob and like friends, it was fun. It yeah. was fun to fly around and like pick stuff up and do the Destiny stuff, the grind. Because mm-hmm. Destiny, in my opinion, is just as boring or as fun as Anthem is when Anthem is working. Um, because they're both boring or also fun. Where Destiny is like, I'm like, why do I have to do this fucking thing for the fourth time in a row? Mm-hmm. But then I go and do it because it's fun. And you can because it's not broken. Because <laughs> it's not broken. There's no glitches. It doesn't crash. Right. Yeah. So it was the same with Anthem where like once I actually was able to do the things in Anthem, I was like, cool, this is fun. I might do this, you know, like over the next six months mm-hmm. off and on like I do with Destiny. Mm-hmm. I realized just now that Anthem is missing those pacing uh, moments that other games have where I'm, I'm only thinking this way because most video games have you progressing destiny a little bit because like you have nothing and then in the very first game then you get the ship and then you can fly like, oh, okay destiny like here's your power suit get out there kid Wait, anthem? Yeah. Or, i'm sorry yeah. anthem yeah anthem's like here's the power suit but it's only one of four and you're like shouldn't you have started like as like a grunt or something like yeah trying to go the titanfall 2 route a little bit where Hold up to the suit Let's yeah go. maybe you start without a suit so you can appreciate the suit but they're like fly and like, give it to you right away yeah well, do all no this time stuff to make any of that like you yeah. have to make the game of being outside of a suit which i think you only do in, in the yeah court. i don't think you get out of the suit yeah. at all which in gameplay. is also awful because you walk really slow because they probably didn't you have time to make run. any animations you can't yeah. run yeah it's ridiculous <laughs> so i th- i think yeah. You're right, Adam, but I think those are all symptoms of the game coming together in less than a year. Yeah, maybe this is their Titanfall 1, sort of, and then the next one will be, Anthem 2 will be their Titanfall 2, where they go, let's go back to the drawing board and like maybe tell a story in this world instead of trying to just blow yeah. their load on a looter shooter right away with microtransactions, because it, yeah, they, it looked like they were trying to check off too many boxes at once. They they really tried to tell a story in Anthem. They tried, I mean, like, really the hard. Because there. there's oh. so much, it's like, oh, well, Lord, it's, it's, it's not easy. But no, no, it no. also is this something you can just write in a Word doc whenever. And that's then they exactly, can just block, copy, and paste it into the game. That's what it is. Yeah. It's, a, it's a show Bible. So mm-hmm. it's like if you guys have, you know what a, like a show Bible is for the, that's written for like a Game of Thrones, it's basically just like lists of lore. That's all mm-hmm. it is. It's just paragraphs. like reading the Silmarillion, um, mm-hmm. which is also really boring and stupid. But, it's sexy. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, there's no story there. It's just lore. Mm-hmm. And that's what, that, that, that's what Anthem was. It's like you walk up to somebody and they'd be like, on the eighth planet of the stars, were the, and you're like, why are you? What the like? This has nothing to do with yeah. the story. Yeah. They're just like offloading a bunch of information mm-hmm. into you. And but the law that's there it. is cool. It, sure, but I barely could tell what was going yeah. on. So. Well, it's easier to do lore in the sense that it's not a story where you ask questions because they go, and then it was like this. You're like, but why was it like this? We don't know. It just was. <laughs> yeah. Stop asking questions. <laughs> and so then says the, the word doc. Left. Yeah. Oh my God. But why? Yeah. We so don't know. Typically, lore. okay, yeah, here, lore 101, if you guys want it. It's first there was light and dark, Good. and then the dark was defeated, and the light prevailed until one day a prophecy the dark spoke came of back. Back. <laughs> And now you must use your light to stop the dark or your group of children trying to save the planet Final Fantasy. <laughs> like, you really everyone. didn't nail it. It's every oh, fun, I mean, fantasy yeah. thing I've ever read. Storytelling has been around for a while. No. So yeah, <laughs> through, through a while. The, you mean all of yeah, human all existence? Of human the existence. two yeah. tropes are light versus dark, and every villain is Hitler. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Pretty easy. Well, I, was, yeah. I was actually reflecting on this, so I don't know. I remember this and only this from my like high, high school literature class or whatever. But the three fundamental forms of conflict: man versus man, man versus self, and man versus nature. Mm-hmm. All of those are in Empire Strikes Back, which makes oh. it the best Star Wars movie. Close the Bible. We're done. I was gonna say, "Where's nature?" All but right. I guess this is when he fights yeah. the, the snow well, yeti. It's, it's, it's Luke being yeah. stranded out in yeah. snow, oh, yeah. and they have to like crawl into a tauntaun to survive. Hmm. No other Star Wars movie has that moment of like frailty of nature. I guess there's the Sarlacc, which I guess could be considered nature, but yeah, not really. That's, nah, that's the, more of like it's yeah, the power of myth, guys. Come on, Joseph Campbell. Yeah. That's the that's that's all it is. It's just the recreation of the hero story over mm-hmm. and over. Oh, yeah, 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 for again. sure. Which I guess is kind of hard to do in a game like Anthem when they just get, hand you a power suit and go. <laughs> I don't know. Something bad happened. Go fight Be the a hero. Yeah. I don't know. You're like, okay. But you don't even know what you're fighting. I, you don't. You don't know. Did and you I encounter got, any of that cool weather stuff that they were supposed to have? Like there would be a storm and the whole server would have the storm, the but you would have it at a different time to someone else. No. I didn't either. Oh. It rained. Yeah. <laughs> they did the cataclysms, That's cool. but apparently they were shocking, underwhelming yeah. uh, mm-hmm. based on what was described. And until Anthem came out, I thought Destiny was underwhelming in the sense of the lore. because and it was all too. more cards and stuff. They don't but tell I was, you any of it. Well, the fact that the, like you have all these questions. I remember I was really intrigued with the traveler, right? Because they're like mm-hmm. this thing, it appeared and yeah. it saved us. You're like, 
But how are we? And they're like, no time to tell you that. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Sorry. And then the one guy who could tell you the story dies in the second game. So you're yeah. like, cool. Yeah. I was cool, curious cool, about cool. that. I feel yeah. like the story gets a bit better in Destiny 2. Oh, it does. But it takes a little bit, yeah. but it does. I still have questions like, is this good or bad? Why questions do... are good, though, Adam. You see? Get Keep you playing interested. video games. Monthly yeah. active users. I don't, yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I know. I, I've learned not to get invested in things because then I'll be disappointed. Anyways, Anthem's not that yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Donk. Uh, I guess then some some follow up questions. Uh, like, I, I guess Adam, you already spoke to it a little mm. bit. What would you do to improve Anthem? Yeah, I just start uh, fresh. I, I would I would look at this as if um, Anthem was a, a a fever dream mm. that the people in the world of Anthem had, <laughs> and then you you go from there. So just do a completely different planet, have different planets first of all. Okay. I, I don't I don't know. It's like just just do Mass Effect again. I suppose. Just keep doing Mass Effect. You have your crew. It could people be, would be happy about it. Yeah, I mean, do, Andromeda didn't work. Well, no, no, no. I'm saying but that wasn't Mass Effect. Yeah, I'm saying take the foundation of Mass Effect in the sense of like have some interesting characters, have some interesting voice actors, you know, with them and all that fun stuff, and then uh, have an actual character that you play as, and then go to different planets, different worlds with the Anthem gameplay mechanics, and you you might have something. I mean, now you're getting way more into Destiny, which I guess the Bioware team is not even allowed to acknowledge exists, so that might be tough, but. <laughs> Um, I, whenever yeah, I interviewed over. them and I was like, how is it different to Destiny? They were like, well, you have four suits every time. <laughs> but like, what's okay. the most difference? Four, four. different suits. Okay. How many classes are Destiny? Like three, maybe? Who knows? We've got you one can't extra. swap between yeah. those on the fly. It. Never yeah. heard of it. Yeah, they were very <laughs> adamant about You can't swap ones. between those suits on the fly either in Anthem. You can change but your But you can in, in the Destiny. same like save file. Whereas oh. in Destiny, you can't swap between classes. It's not, it's not on the that fly. was the logic. That's for sure. Cool. They saved you a click. Yeah. Neat. <laughs> I say that Adam, we just steal well, your idea. Sure, got it. Uh, so yeah, Anthem One is your normal guy. Mm -hmm. uh, Anthem Two, you get your suit. However, since you already have a suit in Anthem One, you need a bigger suit for Anthem Two. Sure, it's a suit inside a suit. It's exactly. like a Hulkbuster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you crawl into your you crawl into your javelin, uh -huh. and then you're fighting, and they're like, "No, we got to deploy the super like javelin." Wolfenstein, <sighs> you're in a wheelchair, and you need a suit for you to even be able to move. Sure. And then you jump inside the like the hit show, show. like the Mantis? original Mantis. We're talking about Mantis like now. Like the original Iron Man guy. Iron Man was yeah. in a right. wheelchair. Right. Was he? Yeah. yeah. Mantis okay. is cooler. Omar, I'm yeah. going to send you a YouTube video of the coolest show ever. If you could show some clips of Mantis while we talk about I'd love to. Anthem, that'd be great. Because then I think <laughs> most people would get what we're trying to say. If I can we put that as the headline? Is yeah. Anthem equal Mantis? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Keeps bringing up the Guardians of the Galaxy character. I don't want that. No, no, she's trash. You want? Oh, I know what you're talking. I yeah, also yeah. appropriately. Uh, here we go. Season one. Oh, the whole episodes. I think it came out in ninety seven. It had a ninety minute TV pilot. Oh, absolutely. Fuck yes. I'm guessing it was on Fox on a Friday when they canceled everything. Like, uh, was Yuck. it Firefly? Yuck. It's. It was way before Firefly. Uh, I want to say it's like maybe a year before, maybe two. <sighs> I think this was like mid mid nineties. We gotta stop talking about Mantis. No, we <laughs> don't. <laughs> we don't, don't talked me, about Anthem. We got a million views already. Don't send me any clips. Yeah, I don't right. want any of that. <laughs> that was a mess. Do not put that in my Slack. <laughs> gotta go to Omar. You see, Bruce, go. he's in a wheelchair. I will block you. I watched but, it. But when he puts in the suit, I know. I watched it. Get it on the monitor yeah. there, Omar. Uh, yep. he puts I on the suit, and over. Fight so then, when the cops are like, "Doctor, is there a chance that you're Mantis?" Imagine if. Bruce Wayne was in a wheelchair every time he saw him. What? Cool. No, that's not cool. <laughs> being in a wheelchair is cool, Bruce. How dare you say that about I didn't say that being in a wheelchair wasn't no. cool. How dare you? said being Mantis is not cool. Yeah, that's right. Sadly. Sorry, Mantis. Being Mantis is the coolest. <laughs> that was back in that weird mid-90s run when they had like the Flash on TV. I watched Did, it. Before didn't, the other didn't, Flash. Didn't they have a, another like, they had a mutant show. It was like X-Men Light. It was like Ge <gasps> Generation M. Generation or, X, I think it was called. Oh. I didn't watch it. Oh. But it was like a, it was supposed to be like mutants for TV. Degen but no, that was the wrestling thing. Yeah, no, you're thinking it's like Generation X. I, I had it. X I Generation, have, maybe. I have the full pilot in my watch later list because I I just rediscovered it recently. Yeah, but now we have really good um, superhero shows like The Flash and Arrow and an Anthem. An Anthem. Yeah, everyone's favorite. <laughs> maybe we can make a television show out of Anthem. I, Neil Blomkamp made that short film that was pretty rad, but apparently just has nothing to do with the game. It was really rad, actually. Uh, and I remember be, I, when I watched it, I was like, I'm going to go play the game. And then I sat there and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I, think I think there's more story in that three-minute yeah. video than there's in the entire entirety of the it's game. Cool. I haven't played the entire game because everyone around me said it was a waste of time. So I think Jacob might have. He did. He yeah. played through the entire thing. Yeah. You, you know what Jacob said at lunch? He said, I think I'm going to – do I have time to play through Witcher one more time before? He's like, did it, He asked if it had New Game Plus. He beat Sekiro <laughs> three times. He's max leveled every character in Destiny. He has a girlfriend. 
And his girlfriend. I think he might be the perfect cat. man. <laughs> I'm annoyed. He can time travel. I know that. I want to time travel so bad. Man. In the way you're, I'm noticing there's no mantis clip. Yeah, that's I'm trying really hard. Really hard. Thanks, Omar. <laughs> okay. Thanks, working. Omar. You don't need to put him up. We're good. What? Yeah, you do. Damn it, Bruce. <laughs> This conversation would be far more stimulating if we had Mantis in the background. It's like I going agree. to a bar and there's a movie on everyone can enjoy, you can but put it's on it in mute. my Slack. Yeah. I'll allow Give that. Give it to Alana. We're all going to watch it anyway. I don't know. How are you going to fit? Bruce, you've probably played the most anthem. Uh, other than Jacob? Yes. Yeah. Um, Jacob, because Jacob's played. I, I, well, like I said, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Omar and I, we, we enjoyed it with as friends. Mm -hmm. Like we were like, this is cool together because you could fly around and do things together and like, do the adventures together and sort of try to figure out your progression and like what you got and all that mm. stuff. But I don't know that I'd ever touch that game alone ever. Yeah. Like in a million years because of the story. Cause like walking around Fort Tarsus was so stupid and boring and it was, you couldn't run. And like, again, I'd walk up and like yes. people there hold you go. on. There's Let's not listen to Bruce. What oh, the over. fuck? <laughs> Good. It's only 30 seconds. Um, <laughs> It was uh, it was one of those things where like you could walk up and again they would just offload lore with onto you. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I've played I MMOs by myself and have enjoyed it, which I know is very odd. I played the Old Republic. Yeah, I played I played that even though it was an MMO, it was all single player. I played the in entire single player. Well, they they game had right. a lot of cutscenes, or at least dialogue. Old Sorry, Republic dialogue is, is a very good one though. So, sorry, um, go ahead. But I have done that before. But Anthem, the thing that got me uh, when I was trying to play with other people that maybe not even want to do that was the cutscenes. It was just. Oh, sorry, the loading screens. Like sometimes yep. I would be loading and they would already be gone. Correct. Like it just, or I'd warp yeah. ahead really suddenly and it just, those were so really jarring. jarring. Yeah. It didn't make any sense. That, mm. that was like in the, the alpha demo or whatever. Like the free test weekend, it did that thing where like, where is everyone? Like, we're in the room. Come meet us. And I was like, what? This is, well, this is, it's loading when you, so you'd load into the world and then there would be an instance oh. and then it would have another load. I was yeah. like, yeah. You can't do this. That, that was the thing that like made it dudes. even when I tried to play with friends that I didn't enjoy it. It was just like it's, it's it stops all the time. Like, it's the, 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 there's, there's so much loading and there's so much yeah. it's so much broken about it. I, but I do like the flying around and shooting. I find that it's really, awesome. you feel like Iron Man and it's super fun. Like, that, I, I really like doing that. But it sounds like in what Andrew Wilson was saying is that they're basically they're going to give it 7 to 10 years well, until they get it, it right. 7 to 10 years. Well, they think they have they think they <laughs> have their <laughs> monthly active user games as service property. And I I, th I believe that like EA is looking at it as okay this is our base and we'll continue to grow it because they've invested in it already mm -hmm. they've already paid for years of development so it's either keep trying to convert this into something that works or start over which is going to wipe away the three years of lore bible they ever they can't and do the that no, work they've and done and stuff. what like well, if, if he's saying that we recognize that we need to fix well, what we have but. The potential is there. I would agree with that. The yeah. game is fun. It's just you got to fix that bit and that bit and that bit, and then it would be fun. Was there a game like that? I'm trying to think where the base of the game was fun, but then the re like the, the core mechanics were fun, but then the game itself just got repetitive or boring. And Destiny. 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 100% Destiny. Yeah. yeah. That, that's a really good. I remember we all said we're like, the gunplay is really good. Like, yeah. yeah. Bungie's really good at shooters. And that was like the conjunction of. Power, grenade, super, gun, like all those things was like, oh, really good. And then the game just felt empty. I yeah. think Destiny 1 and 2 have both done that. Yes. Both of them have been And then the final kind expansion for each games. kind of made it made a real game really finally. I can't wait for Destiny to be a game. <laughs> like, Forsaken. Well, I'm sorry. Free I, to play. Yeah. No. I I mean, not not that I want to get on the Destiny right. I, I keep waiting for them to go, what if we did other things that didn't involve shooting everything? Mm. Well, I yeah. think they, maybe they can now. Bungie's not. Activision anymore. Mm -hmm. Maybe they can. They can build houses. I mean, and shooting is the want. base. Marry someone. I love all yeah. houses no in away from that. Something. Real estate. Yeah. <laughs> I just say like you have. Let's just pretend you got you got Earth back. You have Earth. You can rebuild Earth. You can do stuff with Earth. You could you do dumb little like uh, oh. what's that game that Autumn loves? Uh, the Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Yeah. You do Animal Crossing mm -hmm. stuff. You like you do chores for people oh. in town. It's optional. You don't have to do it, but like make the world at least feel more alive instead of mm -hmm. like. Well, there's look. there's always an issue. There's always something like the, the sort of the the cute things that I like. I'm not sure if World, wow, World of Warcraft did this or anything, but like, thank you, Omar. I don't know. You just played the first episode. Sweet. You, you know what I'd love? I'd, so you're I'd, right. Adam. Well, no, I'm saying like I would love an event in Destiny, like a Christmas event, and they start off of like, you know, it was foretold years ago, blah blah. But all you're doing is getting like your village ready for Santa to come. I, mean, I played <laughs> like, a lot of Neverwinter, and I almost every year I'll go back if there's a winter event, and it's mm -hmm. like. Sledding, yeah. you know, like climbing, yeah. like it's all just like dumb, silly winter stuff that I I always get excited about, and none of it is combat orientated. It, it would just be awesome if it would be like you have to go into the deep dark forest to find the biggest Christmas tree you can. Find a pine cone. Yeah, or maybe they have their own like holiday, and like you do these silly things where you go, oh, it help, it, it enriches the world instead of 
Like, you're the chosen one. Kill the big head in the sky again. That exists uh, in a lot of MMOs. It does. Yeah. World of Warcraft does that a lot. Mm-hmm. Final Fantasy XIV does it a lot. And what it amounts to is a, a line of ants running to the one <laughs> pine cone and picking it up <laughs> and then running back. He's right. And, and, and I think the only thing it does for people like that is it gets you back into it. Mm-hmm. So at least you've broken the barrier to entry of loading Destiny or whatever. So, like, mm-hmm. yeah. you get your Christmas tree and you're like... All right, I'll go do a strike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You go do a sure. strike. Because you, you know? get your Santa hat, your like yeah. seasonal thing, and then yeah, everyone's yeah. wearing their hats. So oh, it's not a I can throw anymore. my snowball. Um, I mean, yeah. I don't know how it would work, but if any of these games had a Fallout Fall like camp building type thing, I'd yeah. be super into that. That gets rough because so on Ultima Online, as, as far as I know, the one game that did that, and it was it was Habbo a nightmare. Hotel had that. Habbo Hotel, yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Final Fantasy XIV <laughs> does that too, but. Online economies get strange when there's scarcity of any kind. Yeah. So I think that Final Fantasy it's fascinating. Yeah. No, it's it gets so funny. It gets it gets problematic. All the rich people own all the houses. <laughs> like new people join service and they can't buy. Yeah, it just it it, it starts to 100 percent mimic real life. Real life. Yeah. So <laughs> funny. So uh, well, Eve Online to a lesser extent. But, I guess like with Anthem yeah. though, would it be cool if instead of living in was it Fort Tar- Tarsus? Tarsus. Yeah. yeah you. You and your clan had like a fort that you guys built. So, and rather yeah. rather than going out and killing a bug until it drops a purple gun, they drop resources that you can't buy in the game. You only get them from doing missions, and with that stuff, you can do like Fallout style base building. So now, with you and your whatever clan of ten people, you can build a fort to your specifications that you all live here. And like, we made a game room and do all this stuff. And it's like that that could at least get you invested. I, I kept waiting for like a DayZ type game to do that, where it's like mm. build your zombie fort. With your friends, but that's like that's your little home. It definitely needs that. Like it, yeah. the, the I guess the issues with Anthem weren't that like it didn't have those other things because it'd be neat if it had them, mm-hmm. but the other stuff didn't work either. So it's like not like literally almost none of it worked. So like yeah. that. So for for me, adding that other stuff would be cool for the players that I played it a ton because mm-hmm. like they played through all the content and then you get them some new content. But they just they also have to make it work. Like of course. it was it was not debugged. <laughs> it was there were so many things that were broken about it. So. Mm-hmm. Then I don't even know if they really even had a skeleton of a game there. They mm-hmm. had the they had the gameplay of the Iron Man suit flying around shooting things. Right. But that was it. And if you didn't like doing that, you weren't going to play it for more than like two, three hours. Yeah. But there's four of them. <laughs> I got a, there's four there Iron Mans. Four. Let me jump in here with an ad read real quick. Oh, yeah. I'll go over it. Much like how we all in Anthem enjoy putting leopard prints on our on our mech suits, you uh, as a soul are also piloting your body as a mech suit. Mm. And you can put downloadable content on that through Stitch Fix, it sells you clothes on the internet. Thank you. There's a thumbnail. Uh, so yeah, li- you you now no longer even have to choose what kind of clothes you wear. You can have a stylist choose it for you. And uh, what is living like royalty in in this year in the future if it's not having somebody pick clothes out for you? That's what Stitch Fix is. So to get started, you basically go to stitchfix.com/dudesoup, fill out a little questionnaire about your style, what you like, the cuts, the fabrics, the patterns, cheetah print. That's my Lawrence pick for you. Uh, lime green, black cheetah print specifically. Ooh, mm. Yeah. Uh, shoes, accessories, everything. And then a stylist will basically be assigned to you and they'll pick out everything that matches that, send it to you. Uh, and then you get to have yourself a little cover girl fashion shoot at your house. Try on everything. The things you like, you keep. The things you don't like, you return. Uh, shipping is free both ways. Uh, there is a $20 styling fee associated with every box you get for basically the stylist to review your, your uh, pro- profile and pick out stuff for you. Uh, but that is applied to anything that you keep. Um, so yeah, you get to see how you look and everything, return the things you don't like. Uh, it's also can be done a la carte or via subscription, so you don't have to sign up for anything if you just want to try it out. Uh, it's really fun, and I've actually gotten a lot of clothes that I probably would never have tried or even found without it, and uh, realized that I look pretty good in stuff that I didn't think I would look good in. So I encourage you to try it out. That's at stitchfix.com slash dudesoup. Uh, special offer, you get 25% off your box if you decide to keep everything in it. Uh, once more, that's stitchfix.com slash dudesoup. With an extra twenty five percent off when you keep everything in your box, so thank you, Stitch Fix, for the sponsorship. Thank you, and for the lime green underwear, mm-hmm. cheetah print. Uh, okay, uh, I guess in other news, we just wrapped up a twenty four hour live stream, which was intense and long uh, and fun because mm-hmm. there were a lot of video games. Uh, we unfortunately yet again were not able to expose the speedrunners for the frauds there. Actually, Omar, if you don't mind, could you throw up Games Done Quick on the the monitor back here? Totally. Oh. Are they still going on? They didn't yeah, yeah, admit defeat. Pokemon Crystal. Week, yeah. yeah, the whole week. Yeah, we haven't. We didn't defeat them. The goal mm. again was to shut down their charitable efforts through our <laughs> superior charitable efforts. I'm, but I'm checking right now because these things happen sometimes. Um, we put in our donation. They still oh, haven't. Have they all gone through? Yeah. So there was somebody in chat asking about has. that. So I can. So I can tell you. So accounting has sent. They've sent all the money. So it has gone from our PayPal account. 
It is now either with PayPal or with Games Done Quick. Okay. Um, they they did get 10,000 of it. They got 10,000 of it right off, yeah, like in the yeah, morning. Yeah, and it said five of nine, so they got a fifth payment or something? The, well, I don't know which one they got. Yeah. I'm but, just looking at their donation. Yeah, Alana's list. right. They got the fifth of the nine payments for some reason. And we had to send, so you have to send, since we're sending so much money to them, we have to send them in lump sums of $10,000 mm -hmm. a piece. Mm -hmm. Um, and then beyond that, it's up to either Games Done Quick or PayPal to figure out how they're going to take those payments. But right. our account is empty. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, so we, we have no more money. So yeah. we have no more money. <laughs> We've invested it into timeshares in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, it's long gone. So now, ideally, they will get it at some point. I just don't know when. Yeah. I'm, so. I mean, I got a phone call when I was trying to buy a phone the other day when it was like, wasn't, it wasn't even that much, but it was like, if you try to... Uh, People are touchy on this stuff, so I imagine if there's a lump sum of ten thousand dollars coming in over yeah. and over, they're like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on, let's check this stuff." So I'm well, sure there's this been some stuff with with uh, Twitch not that long ago where people were donating money and then they would cancel it, mm -hmm. and yeah. the person who was donated to would get the cancel fee. So like the streamers were being mm. charged for huge amounts of money. <laughs> yeah, ridiculous. Wow. Yeah, I think they might have fixed it, but ultimately okay. stuff like that's not that difficult to do on the internet. Um, but yeah, so to what you're saying, Bruce, is the money's that it, it will show up soon. It and, will, yeah. No, and the community, in our hands now. the community message was yes. Uh, what do you mean the community message? Like, we, 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 we said, we sent them a message being like, it was like long winded. I don't oh, know. Oh, gotcha, it was gotcha. Omar, but it was like something to the effect of, you know, like, hey, we tried to beat you. Yeah. What did you say? I can pull it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It was like, you know, hey, we tried to beat you, but we didn't. Uh, you know, we love what you guys do over there, blah, blah, blah. It was like, it was that thing. I wonder so. if they'll ever acknowledge who we are. They well, have to now. <laughs> They, they did, have to. They did last year. Apparently, yeah. when they hit two hundred thousand, which was because of our ten k donation, they oh. did not acknowledge us. <laughs> but you're right. It may, it would make more <laughs> sense if they do it with like when they get all of it. I, oh, I mean, you know, we're not I, doing it for the acknowledgement. I, yes, I, I joke. Are. As I was saying, I joke. I don't oh, they care. just don't. That just we're, feels our spite. We're gonna go even harder. AGDQ twenty twenty. <laughs> you will try beat and ignore them. us for another year. Notice me, Dad. <laughs> yeah. They won't. I want to talk about what sleep deprivation yeah. does to the human yeah, body. I wanna, yeah, yeah, let's, I uh, let's discuss good. the the rickety hours that followed the stream after we signed off and stumbled <laughs> out of this room. Yeah. Well, the best part was we shot an Inside Gaming Daily right at, at the, the end. At the very end. Yeah. Yeah. That was, I think that happened around midnight or something. I think I asked Bruce. I was like, hey, what? so what are we doing for Inside Gaming? He's like, I haven't asked Lawrence yet. I don't know. And I was uh -huh. like, like, we'll figure it out. That's fine. Whatever. And well, then, we had a script ready to and go. Then, and then I asked you and you were like, oh, yeah. We'll figure it out. Oh, I talked about it with Omar. Yeah, yeah. We already, we already okay, had a good. plan. Nah, it was, it was, it was fine. I mean, I don't know. It's weird. Muscle memory kicks in after twenty four hours, and you just, you just do it. I don't know. Yeah, we did it at like ten ish. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. when we shot it. Yeah, That's and crazy. I, I would have, I would have either delayed it or just done it myself. But the stream got extended, yeah. which made it kind of weird. And also, there are whole other people waiting for us to do our thing to do the rest of the show. So mm -hmm. it kind of had to happen then. I, I don't like intruding on other people's stuff, but kind of couldn't do it otherwise. But yeah, uh, so yeah, we we filmed the inside gaming, uh, kind of made a couple of cla uh, passes of the room to throw away all the decaying McDonald's. Mm, it was and, a lot of McDonald's. Uh, yeah, it Two. was two hundred and sixty dollars worth of McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, that's a lot of McDonald's. It's bad because at least half of it probably ended up in the trash. But oh man, what are you gonna do with it? Uh, I mean, I don't mind eating reheated McDonald's, but a lot of people do for mm. some reason. I mean, they can sit for for weeks. Yeah. You can give it to well, <laughs> homeless we, people or whatever you want. I think. Well, I think we left a lot of it out for the. Uh, temp workers no, you, who are out there well, in the studio. I mean, you did, but I ended up throwing it away. I mean, who's oh. gonna who's gonna roll into a room with like bags that have been picked over yeah. and have empty wrappers? Oh, I'm them? sorry, you don't like free food. I mean, I ate they so much don't. of it that my stomach was sore the whole day. Yeah, <laughs> I can't believe you. How much did you eat? A lot. Yeah, <laughs> I had like maybe like four burgers. I and see. About I went twenty the, nuggets. I went the opposite. I ate none <sighs> um, because I was like, if I eat any, because I wanted it so bad. If I eat any of this, I'm gonna have a terrible time. And man, thank my God, my stomach sauna's kept me awake though, so that was good. <laughs> I mean, I was like, I was oh, awake. That hurts. I can't sleep. <laughs> I was awake. I slept for 45 minutes in the period, like three times over the course of the mm -hmm. 24 hours. But man, I I felt so good yesterday in the sense that I was like, I'm glad I didn't eat McDonald's. Yeah. It would have destroyed me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, James had a good idea too during the stream, which was. Every time we cross a thousand dollars, we have to do some sort of exercise. Oh, that was that was that was my. What was your idea? Sorry, that was unfortunately my idea. It's a really but good then James idea. James put it no. to thousand dollars, and I was like, "There's no. We'll hit maybe four or five of these. No what, big deal." What was your original idea? It was like we just do just it. Just do push-ups. So it was just like do push-ups, push and like, and then I think James added it to the one thousand dollar mark. Gotcha. And I was like, "Oh, that's perfect. No problem." Well, so. I was talking to James before the whole thing started, and because we were trying to figure out, uh, we were going to do like a life bar, like a, a goal bar, and I was going to set it to twenty five k, and he was like, "He's like, don't put anything down there because he's like, I don't. We don't I, know. He's like, I don't think we're going to make that. Yeah." And it's so hard to predict with this stuff. Yeah, and then when we crossed, we crossed twenty thousand dollars. I think what within like within two within hours. two hours. Two hours yeah. Yeah. yeah, 
that, that's when we're like, oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> We'd run out of stretch goals. Yeah, and like, but oh. but the, the exercise thing was a great idea because it kept waking me up. Yeah. Because I was like, cool, got the button point. Some of the stretching and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Really and I didn't good. feel like total shit um, when I went home because I was like, oh, I actually felt like. I worked out. Like, I don't feel like uh, my body wants to crumple into it. So, yeah. yeah. Atrophy is a, a real thing, and that ends up being almost more painful than being, you know, muscle sore. What time like did that. you leave? You were like I left seven? at about 7.30. How did you, what happened? What, like, how, what, what happened when you went home? I vomited. <sighs> yeah. So I, I got a migraine so bad that I threw Did up. you go to sleep oh. or no? Uh, I stayed awake for a little bit, slept till about one, and then stayed awake again. And then today, the right choice. Uh, I guess I turned off all of my alarms. So did not wake up. That makes sense. Yeah. But the vomiting sucked pretty bad. Um, but otherwise, everything's fine. <laughs> I'm very fucking tired still, though. Because that's what I, I I I went home and I was like, I was like I felt better once I got outside, walked around. And I was I was exhausted, but I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna go to sleep. So I didn't. Uh, I walked around and played Harry Potter for an hour and a half. <laughs> I got my car washed. I did some work. Wait, you were driving? I was driving. Oh yeah. <sighs> I was fine. No, I was okay. fine. I was fine. Right. Um, like I wasn't gonna crash. Uh, yeah. And plus, it was like I was driving a mile or whatever. But anyways, um, and then. I had really heavy Mexican food for dinner. And I was like, okay, I'm going to stay awake for the next. And I passed out. <laughs> I passed out on autumn. And she said that I was, uh, I was farting what smelled like diapers. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm so sorry. It's like kind of fruity. <laughs> it was really, it no, was terrible. No. Yeah. I mean, I, I went into the men's restroom at like 5 a.m. or something because everyone's shitting around yeah, that time. They were. <laughs> and it descended like a veil. <laughs> but yeah, it was like, and obviously that's food that you'd been eating hours ago, but like, the McDonald's and the pizza and the shakes and the, the Gatorade. <laughs> yeah, James wanted to make sure we had clean snacks around. He yeah. had like some turkey jerky. Yeah, yeah, yeah he tried. No, he it tried. was fine. But like, I mean, Dad didn't stop us from putting garbage in our bodies. And like <laughs> the 5 five a.m. just, it just, it smelled like a porta potty. It was so it was bad. so bad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what happens to gut flora at 5 a.m. Yeah. Well, but. apparently you're supposed to go to sleep and your food, I, I guess your body does a lot of digesting when you're asleep. While you're asleep, of course. that makes sense. And we never went to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's what it was. It was... Uh, Fun pants. Nature did us a fun a fun favor by helping us sleep through that. Yeah, I, I was up until, or rather, I left here around noon, I think, because there was still work to do because it's a goddamn work day. Yeah. So did all that. Stephanie came and picked me up because, yeah, I didn't want to, like, ride a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. That's a smart uh, choice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we went and got Vietnamese so I could have a coffee. Uh, which was which helped also eating. I, I realized that like when I'm up that long, my stomach just gets naturally upset. Yeah. So I can't tell if I'm mm -hmm. hungry or not because yeah, it just right. always hurts. Mm -hmm. too. But then I ate a sandwich and drank some coffee and I felt great. Oh, oh, oh. we're not oh. there yet. They stole it. Yeah, we could have stolen it and they stole it. <laughs> Why do we let them steal it? That's seventy thousand dollars. It could go towards our carnival cruise to Hawaii fun. That's we'll, a nice. We'll message. get there. Sorry. Go ahead. Damn it. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Once I'd eaten and had some coffee, I was like, oh, I feel so much better. And then I went home and started watching Games Done Quick again because they were running Titanfall 2. So you guys didn't try to nap at all? You just stayed up? I didn't intend to. I laid I tried, down just I, I out of exhaustion. Stay. Like, I, I stayed up. I actually had an appointment. Someone came by my house. I'm getting oh, that's um, right. I'm getting some, like, internet work done on it. And uh, the guy was coming around noon. And I was sitting in my living room shaking. <laughs> Uh, and then he messaged me and he's like, hey, I'm at your house. Where are you? And I'm like, I'm, I'm here. Where are you? He's like, you're not here. And I looked at the address I had sent him. Oh, no. I sent him a combination of my home address and my work address. And I think someone else's address. Like, oh, my God. I, like, I was so confused. I'm like, oh, my God. I ended up not being, it was fine. But I was, he came over. Holy and shit. at one point, we're like looking at the foundation of my house. And he's talking about it. And I like, I like sat down on like a concrete slab with my legs crossed. Like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just like, please just leave. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm, I'm glad this is happening because he has to, he was just doing a, uh, inspection or whatever. So I was like, okay, cool. And then I went and laid down just out of exhaustion. I didn't sleep. I just like laid and tossed, mm. but like I just needed to lay down because yeah. everything hurt. It's even when you're on those couches, you're not really laying down. Bl you're that's just, like you're, you're towards pretty the, cramped. Towards the end of it, people <laughs> were bailing out. And so at one point I got the couch in the front to myself mm. and I finally laid down. I felt so good. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh. Well, you also, you got it's the nap. I couldn't be here at the You very napped end. in space for a little bit. That was, yeah, I, think I fell asleep on there twice. twice. Yeah. I never fall asleep with like noise and lights and all that yeah, shit. That was yeah. gone. Mm. I, I try, but it was just sort of like, it just felt good to lay down and be like, okay, good. And just like not, good. but you're, <laughs> An unintentional consequence, I guess, where we had like the shame cam of sleep. <laughs> yeah. Where it's like, you can sleep, but it's got a green screen. Yeah, the internet's <laughs> and everyone see will see you. you. Well, yeah. I, I did it for entertainment value because you can also fall asleep, which I did, uh, somewhere in another room. Oh, yeah. I went, I went and fell asleep yeah, in a room I for like 45 minutes. I had a nap in another room for about yeah. 45 minutes. I, I tried napping at like 5 a.m. and then um, 
I just lay there shaking. Well, like, my nap didn't, didn't my nap didn't work when I tried. Like I was laying there trying to, and I felt better when I got up, but I didn't actually fall asleep at any point. Oh. I was just like, okay. that sucks. But it did help for whatever reason. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. But yeah, the trick was yeah, I guess like power from power through. I don't know because you powered through as far as you could. I mean, yeah, I, I got through to, well, I got through to 1130 last night. Like I didn't, I never fell That's asleep crazy. for more than 45 minutes for 38 hours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just chugged a lot of z took a melatonin. And you still then, needed to do that? Yeah, because I don't know if you ever, like sleep deprivation sucks. The worst part about it is when you hit like your fifth wind or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And so you be, you're like, I'm so tired. I can't wait to sleep. And you lay there and you can't sleep. Yeah. yeah. That is and then it just it just compounds like over and over. I did that one time. We did a trip to London. Let me cut into a oh, yeah. cut in with an oh, ad. Oh yeah, go ahead. I'm one. sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, that's all right. I actually know. I think I know the story you're going to talk about, but uh, we have a sponsor that will help you with sleep if you are struggling with that. <sighs> Calm. They ask, "Are you struggling to sleep these days, Adam?" Yes. All, all right. Time. You're not alone. One in three U.S. adults doesn't get enough sleep. Well, I mean, that's just. Yeah, that's just being an adult. But uh, so we could all use some help sleep. If you're not sleeping enough, they say it could affect your cognitive functions during the day, like learning, problem solving, and decision making, or watching a Titanfall 2 speed run, which I'm still real <laughs> salty yeah. that I kept like micro napping in the middle of. <laughs> anyway, uh, good night's sleep is like a magic remedy for the brain and body. When we sleep well, we're more focused and relaxed. And best of all, sleep makes us happier. I feel I feel better today, that's for sure. So, uh, Calm is a uh, basically a service that offers a library of programs designed to help you get the sleep your brain and body needs. Uh, this is stuff like soundscapes, uh, over a hundred sleep stories narrated by soothing voices, like Jerome Flynn from Game of Thrones and Stephen Fry. So, uh, I guess the idea is that there's a ton of tools here to help you uh, find a way to trick your body into falling asleep. And you can try them all. Uh, and we have an offer for you guys. If you go to calm.com slash dude, I love that. Uh, uh, you can get a 25% off a Calm premium subscription. If you've been trying a lot of stuff, uh, maybe this is just the tool or accent you need to help lull your body into sleep. And once you found the one thing that works, hopefully you can just use it forever. But again, that's a 25% off uh, Calm premium subscription at calm.com, uh, C-A-L-M dot C-O-M slash dude, D-U-D-E. So, Calm, thank you so much for helping this nation of anxious, overworked uh, content producers and hustlers and bread getters to actually fall asleep at night. Uh, once more, calm.com slash dude for 25% off. Somebody in chat likes Calm. Yeah. Right I, on, RT. I have the app. It's oh, beautiful. Oh, you've been go. using yeah. it? I, I haven't subscribed yet, so I've been just using like the free like Stephen Fry one, but... Um, now that we have a 25% discount, I'm actually going yeah. to subscribe. Is that there. the one that Moby put out the yeah. like, exclusive album on? Cool. I think so. I didn't yeah. know that. That sounds about right, though. Moby is very much like soundscapes my, and ethereal my, pops and clicks and whistles. I, I also, I had to buy new earbuds um, because I had some that I put in and I tried to sleep. But and they were, over they were well, they were cheap ones and oh. they would flash a blue light. Oh, yeah. So, so that's, that's, yeah, you'd see it. So I'd, I'd be yeah. trying to sleep and be like, yeah. I'm like <laughs> I'd look around, what the fuck? I'm going to go back to bed. <laughs> so yeah. yeah you were talking about a trip to london you were trying to I, I did a trip it was just jack and i we did mcm london one year for rooster teeth and i just could not sleep i was stressing out and then like finally the end of the day i'm like i'm so done i'm gonna go to bed and hit the pillow and be like just stare at a wall <laughs> yeah it's rough and then i'm like i'm wide awake and then i'd like just sit around in my room and then 9 a.m. would roll around like, all right, you got to hit the booth. And I'm like, I want nothing more than to go to sleep right now. And you can't. It's yeah. so like I try to go to my room and nap and try those things. But like when you go like after the third day, I think I, I finally I, like when we were done, I just laid in the bed and slept for about 12 hours. And I was like, that's sort of what I did yesterday. But well, I've learned is like just power through, yep. power through. It's get, the jet lag adjustment. Mm-hmm. Yep. Get to the end of the day. Do not fall asleep. It will it will ruin your day. I would have died. Yeah. I was like, I had gaps in <laughs> cognition of like. Yeah. I was like trying to answer slacks on my phone and trying to watch Titanfall 2. And uh, I, I would I would like be like, <gasps> and then I realized like a minute passed and I hadn't done anything. And I was like, well, shit. All right, mm-hmm. I'm starting to shut down. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I kind of laid down on the couch and then like snapped awake 40 minutes later. I was like, wow, I feel great. I don't know what that was. But then from then on, it felt like I actually had slept and just finished the day as usual. There's that trick, right? Where if you can sleep within your clock Mm -hmm. adjustment, your REM cycle, cycle, yeah, if you can hit that perfect cycle, because if you're in or out of it too early, it fucks you up. It totally fucks you up. Yeah, yeah. it's, I always said this, if I had a superpower, it'd be able to sleep whenever I want. Yeah, but I have that, but then I can't wake up. No, no, that's what I mean. Being able to like, you have to be and a, wake up whenever you want. It has to be like one hour yeah. or less. If I could do a micro nap for 30 minutes yeah. at like, so I'm like, hey, I'm going to go to, yeah, if I go to like fall asleep on the toilet for a little bit <laughs> and then when I wake up, I'm refreshed. You never really have to go do an eight hour rest. There was a period where I was awesome. studying 
and I was doing three subjects, so not technically full time, but close. And I was working full time, mm. and I was sleeping in three hour chunks for a good three months or so wow. because that was all I had time to do. Oh. So I would like go to school, nap for three hours, work, nap for three hours, and I just kept doing that. I don't know how mm. much I slept in any given day, but it was wild. <laughs> but it worked. I'm After always, the first week, I got used to it. I'm always jealous mm. of people who can like sleep on planes. Like, oh yeah, yeah. or like in a car or anything. Like, anything. Like, I can like, snooze where it's like time goes, mm -hmm. but I don't feel rested. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's it's a good way to kill time on an inter intercontinental flight. I can of which only I've sleep on, on like a flight three. if I can put the tray table down and like do that. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So the minute the person in front of me leans, leans back. back, I'm like fucked, <laughs> not <laughs> sleeping. God damn it. We I'm glad that we as a society have largely acknowledged that leaning back on a plane is garbage. Unless yeah. you have to sleep, then it's kind of hard to get around. And your your case is sadly a. Uh, uh, edge case, but yeah, come on, people. If it's like a three-hour flight, just keep your seat up. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, don't recline your seat. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. I did, you're right. I, I didn't even think about. I that. mean, uh. it's it's there, so I, I don't I don't get pissed at people for doing it, but I leave mine up because I'm mm. like, whatever. Yeah, I, same. Five degrees, it's still gonna feel like garbage when I get up anyway. I also, I think I did the coolest thing out of everyone here. Oh yeah. When I went home, I installed Shadow Complex and played it. <laughs> that is cool. Oh, wow. That Have is, you ever played it? That is a very um, cool game. No, I never. You, I, I love Maybe how much you're up on Shadow Complex all of a sudden. That game came out so long ago. Oh, yeah. Well, they re-released it on the Epic Game Store like before I think Fortnite even came out. And I remember I was like, oh, Shadow Complex, I remember that you. It was 10 years old. Yeah. Nice. It holds up so well. Mm. It's so fucking it's good. It's solid. I'm surprised they didn't make another one. Well, I think because on the stream, all we did was play these like like Metrovania games. Chair. That's right. They went on to do the Infinity Blade. I think they ended up just getting bought by Epic. Because mm. I'm almost positive. Yeah. Those are the guys. by who, Epic in 2008. Yeah. And then, yeah, all they've been doing is Infinity Blade since. It's a bummer because I didn't have an iPhone and I was like, I really like chair mm -hmm. and here's a stupid game that looks like punch out and I'm into it except it's on an iPhone. <laughs> so I'd play punch out on an iPhone. Huh? I'd play punch out if it was on, on, on a mobile. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. It's, it's, good it's game. perfect for that. It's like three button game. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, Infin Infinity Blade was a good game, but uh, yeah, I was kind of bummed because I was like, but playing Shadow Complex today is awesome. And I was like, cool. This is a really fun game. Why haven't they made another one of these? You like guys a, play Double Daggers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just keep playing a bunch of that lately. Yeah, I don't know why. Just it's a good, like it. aim trainer. Yeah, I love it. it. Is. It's yeah. so good. Very cool retro look. What was that other game? D Dusk. Dusk. That was Dusk. like kind of similar. Yeah, yeah. medieval. medieval. Yeah. yeah, I guess even well, Devil Daggers is almost like more of an. It's like an arcade, almost roguelike yeah. kind of thing. It's For just sure. how long can you survive? Yeah, which mm -hmm. is still really good and very hard. Or like Super Hexagon kind of reminds me yeah. of that a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, that was my way of staying awake was I'm going to play this game from 10 years ago. Okay. Starring Nolan North. <laughs> so you just kept doing what you were doing here at home. I, yeah, it was. <laughs> See, I figured out how to play a video game outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> True. I went and walked around. Um, up. I think it was something because all the games we were playing were games I never want to play again. Aww. Like Rygar. And oh, yeah. You don't want to play Rygar again? I can't think of any time. Or a Master Blaster or Blaster oh, Master. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was just like, what a nightmare. And I like, want to play Marble Madness now that I've seen oh, it. Marble Madness I played that game so much when I was a kid. And I hated it, when I, hated it a, yeah. when I was a kid. Oh, really? It's yeah. a really cool concept, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember we had that in like the Sesame Street game? My grandparents got us for like, because my it was Ugh. me and my brother who was three years younger than us. So for Christmas, we got NES games. Like, here's Marble Madness. And then uh, I think we ended up trading it for Ninja Gaiden later. But, Sick. Uh, good, good trade. Yeah, yeah. But it was like Marble Madness in the Sesame Street game. And I'd play the Sesame Street game like this game sucks. Play Marvel Madness. Like, this game sucks. And I'd go back to Sesame Street. Like, this sucks. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> nothing's fun. <laughs> that was gaming back then, man. <laughs> it was. You had a choice between three games, and, and you they, had to play one of them. And they're all awful. Yeah. 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 And like one of them, you have no idea what to do, and there's no instruction manual because somebody threw it away. Yeah. So yeah, it's like Blaster Master. How do I get out? How do you know I can get out of the tank? Yeah. You're just running around for an hour. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, but we there is something that is simple. Yeah, we got another ad reading coming. Oh. Um, <coughs> you can dispel mysteries in your life, especially when it comes to scents. Not not the money, the smell. Uh, oh. Fleur is sponsoring this podcast. This is a new scent company that only deals in great smelling and non toxic perfumes. Unlike fragrance companies, they're transparent, literally and figuratively. They tell you every ingredient in their perfumes. Their perfumes are also clear because of that. Uh, you're you get a good scent with made with clean ingredients, and the sample process is just plain fun. We got a couple of boys here who had uh, custom scents made for them. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. We did. Bruce huh. is in there with the Hepcat scent. Described it as, uh, it's like that cologne your cool uncle would put on before peeling out on his motorcycle into the sunset. There's a Scott band named Hepcat as well. Yeah. you guys know. Mm. That and they are too, they too are cool. That's right. Yes. <laughs> uh, Adam is a Greylock man. I am. It says Greylock is like taking a road trip up the California coast. It is. Ooh. It was. It will be. If you'd like to smell like Adam or Bruce, you can do that today at fleur.com slash dude soup. 
Uh, you can check out our curated sample set and get 20% off your first custom Fleur sample set. Because of course you don't want to go you don't want to go hog on a scent that doesn't describe or evoke you. You want uh, you want it to smell like you in a good way. Mm. Um, so once more, that's fleur.com slash dude soup. That's P H L U R, which I'm gonna admit is actually a really fun word to say and fleur. even look at. Fleur. 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 Uh, so fleur.com slash dude soup. See our curated sample set and get 20% off your first custom fleur sample set. So thank you, Fleur, uh, for helping us nerds step our game up a little bit. Uh, my scent on Fleur is not the scent of diapers. No. Good. Uh, that, that autumn smelled mm. yesterday. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. Sleepy, rumbly guts. No, it's yeah. not that one. No, I had, I had too had a blowout in the bathroom. Yeah, apparently, like sleep, sleep just regulates everything. It no, it was that better. pizza, guys. That pizza maybe. fucked me up, maybe. and it yeah. maybe, surely but, fucked everybody else. I, I, <laughs> I think it was maybe all of it. Takes a while. I mean, yeah, bread and cheese and whatever McDonald's uses so its food doesn't go bad and lasts longer than McDonald's plastic. McDonald's always we all had like, a lot of water though. Yeah, McDonald's yeah. goes through me easily. I think it might have been the pizza. Yeah. More. I think you're mm-hmm. right. I, just, uh, I was I was sitting on the toilet for like forty five minutes. It was damn. it was bad. What before we go on this this lovely episode of Dude Soup? Since I am producing, it means you're all subject to my whims and my games. Always excellent. Uh, and that also means it's time to check in on the soon to be hit property Cyberpunk with another issue of Cyberwatch. <laughs> hey. Back, hey. Omar, you, yes, he was ready. <laughs> I mean, enjoy enjoy this while you can, I guess. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to do this yeah. anymore. And yeah, we gotta savor these months. moments, you guys. Come, come April, home. never say never. <sighs> we could do Cyberwatch after. Yeah, well, you can do I mean, cyber, we can for, for Cyberwatch too. Or <laughs> goddamn, like this 2078. Like this week's, like this week's exactly. Cyberwatch. Omar, I just sent you a Slack. I don't know if we can get that up there, but is it Mantis? Um, it could be Mantis again. Mantis is cyberpunk. Mantis it's is not. cyberpunk. Yes. It's not at all. Uh, so this was, Still this was sure a, what Mantis is. I know. You don't need to know either. Good. I'll send you a link. You'll it never was, hear it, about it again. It was on the this. screen. You couldn't yeah, see you it. It was really it. dark. Mm. There's a man in a wheelchair. He made a Mantis suit and he looks like a Mantis and then he shoots people. Cause like that's said, what Mantis is You're never going to hear about it after this. It's fine. Bullshit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, his catchphrase. I'm Mantis. I just realized that Alana no. hasn't watched, uh, to catch a predator. So we're going to have a little to catch a predator night soon. Oh, well I have. It's just that I've only watched a little bit that I could find on YouTube. Oh, well, well, I also did more. just start watching the O.J. Simpson documentary, uh, Made in America. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be great. I, I didn't know it's about good. so much of it. I didn't either. And the thing that I'm having trouble with is comprehending that it's real. I'm like, this actually happened in the city I live in. What? That's right. It's yeah. crazy. Adam and I know because we lived, we lived through it. Yeah. I mean, you hear all that stuff was happening? Yeah, they, they stopped school to announce did. the verdict. Yeah. Like, we, I was in elementary school. You were probably in middle school. So do you remember what was happening when they were, like, chasing him down when he's holding a gun to his head and shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were all watching. I was watching on TV. Also, I, as a kid, I thought he was the one driving. I, I, didn't I thought know, he was, too. I didn't know. Yeah, I mean, that's his the friend. friend. Yeah. yeah, that's the crazy part coming back and watching it. Car chases in L.A. are, oh, well, you got an open I, wound I, there. I picked a scab. Uh, <laughs> car chases in L.A. are kind of an institution. Usually they're, yeah. they, they I live mean, the O.J. one, it's so. like, People really, were really stopping their cars on highways yeah. to like run Cheering out on the road stuff, to see yeah. him. It was yeah. like, okay, Juice so I guess at the time, just everybody thought that he didn't kill her. And he, I, well, that was the thing. Well, I mean, there were also the LA riots. Like there were riots in the city. Yeah. Uh, and like the city was on fire. And I actually, it was a weird was anecdote. a couple of years before. It was 92. Because yeah. yeah. that's part yeah. of the documentary. Yeah. 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 Rodney King meetings. And, and yeah, that was all the, Jesus Christ, you're I didn't know about that either. Don't worry about it. It's like a 14 year old girl who's shot by a, a Korean store owner and mm-hmm. who didn't serve any time. Like, it's all crazy. <laughs> and all of it, I'm like, how is any of this nonfiction? And that like, was like, what, 20 years and change ago? Yeah. It's it's crazy how and much. now he has a Twitter account. You gotta, you gotta watch Chernobyl. Yeah. It's the same deal. Yeah. You have the same, like, right. why was this Adam's real? Drip fine, I keep trying fine. to think of what okay. the equivalent of OJ would be now. Like, if, I'm trying to think if, if someone who was a Michael famous Jackson, athlete. kind of, but he's dead already. No, so. I don't know. I famous just, athlete who also became, like, a celebrity who was in that kind of, it's just not, nothing like that has happened. Well, in terms Wild. of cyberpunk. Yeah, cyberpunk. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. We're yeah, having yeah, we're right. Sorry, yeah. Prima Wait. Games has an exclusive interview with UI <laughs> coordinator Alvin Liu, which UI coordinator is an interesting kind of thing. Mm. Th- so this is much like the c- topic of this dude soup and what we were talking about. This is a sort of side, a side Top mention that has then been turned into, don't stop. scrape it on the table. I'm not scraping, I'm hiding it under oh. the table. <laughs> I, I'm get, the only I, one who can see it. It's like, it's like I'm a woman, I'm like, I'm up here. Oh, I just yeah. saw my own face. God, I look tired. No, nobody can see. We all look tired. No, look nobody terrible. can see it. Don't yeah, worry. No You're right. Can see it. Oh, right. Sure. I mean, it looks cool. Not, they right. didn't, you look we, tough. Not really. No, it's just a scab really that I was, like, I was like, what is this? And I didn't realize I had a scab. All right. Uh, so in this is in reference to the Witcher 3 expansions, which are all huge. And awesome. Yes, and very good. Uh, UI coordinator Alvin Liu says, quote, 
we want to make sure everything's complete in, re in referring to Cyberpunk 2077, greatest video game ever. Uh, but we also want to open new worlds. I know when I was playing The Witcher 3 and I finished everything, I still want to know what everyone was up to. And here it is. Here's the bombshell. Oh. Oh. I think we're going to have opportunities like that as well. For Cyberpunk 2077. So you're talking about a sequel. Expansions? Expansions! Uh, oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Expansions confirmed! Yeah. Okay. Cyberwatch! Well, he did say, I think, and maybe opportunities. Yeah, I mean, and it could also, happen. Confirmed! Duh. Duh. Confirmed. I mean, what if the game bombs, though? Double no confirms it. Yeah, good joke, Adam. Good joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Stupid. Funny thing you've said. Cyberpunk's coming out. Okay. And then, like, a month later, maybe, we're gonna get. Three expansions. A month later. Yeah. <laughs> how, how long was it until they came out? Was it Iron and Wine? That no, was a band. Blood and Wine. Yeah. Oh, blood and wine. That's blood what I was going to say. I hope we get Blood and Wine where V goes to a vineyard and just, just kind of hangs, yeah. hangs out in the countryside. Solves wine related <laughs> I mean, mysteries. Yeah. I'd like to actually see. It'd be a, Synth the Hall or whatever. I want to see something outside of Night City. So maybe they would do something like that. Yes, yeah. Vineyard. Space Station. Yes, Vineyard. Yes, vineyard. <laughs> Cyber Vineyard. Maybe a, 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 a town ranch. in the sky. An expansion that takes place entirely in Cyberspace. You're going to get six months later, guys, not I one month later. Probably not three, but no. I mean, once again, yes, they're pouring their entire lives into this thing. Maybe you get to do a flashback where you get to play as Johnny Silverhand in 2020, mm. and you get to see you get to see what happened to Alt Cunningham. Oh, that, that actually, would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. How do you know about all this shit already? The that, game's not even out yet. I had to read. It's not of his job. <laughs> well, I mean, similar to the Witcher just like stuff. Him. This the stuff. Ex it's yeah. I think we talked about this, but it's like there there is. There are things they are basing it on, so it's like there's a tabletop game there that you can like yeah. look oh, up every look wiki entry there. on Johnny yeah. Silverhand and the band he was in, and all this stuff exists but, already. That's yeah, it's 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 interesting how much of like straight up Cyberpunk 2020 lore, like the 80s crappy 80s stuff, is actually working into 2077. I mean, rad. they have Pond Smith on to do all that stuff. You're but. spoiling it all for me, by the way, because <laughs> yeah. I don't know any of this shit, <laughs> and I'm gonna play spoilers. this game. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> Sorry. You know Bruce, our lore master. He loves... Well, no, if I want to go play the game... You will. I'm, gonna, I'm, no, I'm, I'm definitely going to play the I game. I like so. the idea that people would call spoilers on something that has existed for a very long time as a board game. It's spoilers. <laughs> I, I can guarantee you, though, that uh, a good... I'm not going to throw a percentage out there because that's always just rude. But <laughs> most people playing Cyberpunk will have never touched the pen no, and paper game. Absolutely the board, not. They won't even know what Cyberpunk is referenced to. They're going to look and go, that commercial I saw on TV looks cool and Keanu Reeves yeah. is in it. I'm going to play it on my Xbox 360. They're like, it's not on Xbox 360. I got to go buy a new console. Guess I'm not playing it then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, my I, PC can't run this. It, it blows my mind that an average consumer would look at like a Witcher commercial and go, oh, that looks pretty cool. I was like, whoa, Witcher went mainstream? Holy yeah. crap. Mm. I think they kind of looked out. There was a dark fantasy wave, mostly inspired by Game of Thrones. Yeah. But I think Witcher well, got dark, a little yeah. left from. Dark Souls helped too a little bit. Like yeah. that sort of thing. Like it, yeah, it sort of scratched that itch, which is but cool. Yeah, I think Cyberpunk certainly, and not only was this the aesthetic already due entirely to Cyberpunk, but so mm. CD Projekt has definitely given it a brush up to make it not so dorky. <laughs> is the word I would use. Uh, sure, you classic sure they Cyberpunk have, shots looks dumb as You're hell. right; it looks way cooler. Yeah, it now. does. It does. It's, there, there were like some live action Shadowrun shorts that like FASA did. <laughs> Whoa, they're rad. <laughs> Neat. It mostly uh, involves like a right. lady with like a huge '80s hair pulling a keyboard out of her purse and then like plugging into a weird obelisk and hacking and stuff. Oh, I'm into that. Sweet. Yeah, it rules. And then they like have the best. They have the best CG that like 1993 can muster. Of you nice. flying through like hallways of cones. A affordable and stuff. CGI. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Shit, let me see if I can find. We, it. we were talking about this at lunch. It's almost as cool not, as Mantis. Not to derail us too much. We were talking about this at lunch. Um, there hasn't really been a like a Skyrim type game in a while. Meaning that I remember when Skyrim came out, a lot of people were like, "Hey, I'm taking the day off. Like, I need to play this." And like one of those games that you can't wait to just play and just get lost in for a long time. I'm trying to think of the last game that was like that. Mm. Red um, Dead. Yeah. Yeah, Red Dead, which yeah, yeah. wasn't that long ago. I'm gonna try my best <laughs> to take yeah. time. Lost of Us for Two we'll see. will be a big one for a lot of people, I would think. I can't. I can't imagine a single person in this office is like I'm taking the day off to play Last of Us Two. I wouldn't do that. But well, you could also finish it in a few evenings. I don't think it's like a life consumer. Yeah, it's a. It'll probably be a fun narrative ride, but yeah. I don't see it lasting more than 15 hours. Mm. I could be wrong. I don't, I don't know. know. 20 maybe. I, I just one of those Jedi I'm, Fallen Order would be a cool game to take the day off for. No one's gonna do that. Do that. Nah. Yeah. No. I'm think, excited about it. But no, no. Uh, Cyberpunk's one of those games where I'm like, I could see myself just like. Hey. No, we're going to stream it, remember? It's multicam. Oh, I'm, you weren't here I'm for this one, Bruce, but Alana had an insane idea. It's a really good idea. Now we're pitching this two weeks in a row. Mm -hmm. Here, go ahead. We're all going to play Cyberpunk in multicam and stream the whole thing. Oh. So everyone will be able to swap between feeds and see what everyone's doing That's in any given time. That's a great idea. Thank you. That's a fantastic idea. Also, so we can play it at work. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That's, That's, a, great. That's a great idea. 
Yeah, learning absolutely. how to work the angles. I've been trying to figure out how to play games on the clock for years. <laughs> and I have I got a few side hustles going, but yeah. Uh Omar, where's that where's that video there that I just slacked you? Let's get that up on the old monitor it's here. Mantis pilot on Hulu. <laughs> I'm glad that Omar's the like the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper because yeah. I don't want to see it either. Uh it's so. called a night's work. Oh. Uh it's it's a Shadowrun crew breaking into a exclu- uh, top secret laboratory and cyber hacking out some data. Man, we're going over time. Yeah, yeah we're, we're going over time. Rough. Still can't believe OJ Simpson, man. It was, yeah, it was crazy wild. shit. <laughs> that documentary won an Academy Award. It's incredible. It's really All I good. want really you great. guys to do is to see what cyberspace looked like in 1990. Got it. I already know. Yeah, Damn I was it. there. I, al- I was alive. Yeah. No, you weren't. You weren't I mean, in you've also made us pl- uh, watch you play uh, Siberia. Yeah, that was cool. So I know what that looks Again, like. Again, working those angles. Uh, oh no! So yeah, well here I'll just do this. I'm excited. I mean, I think oh my, you got it. Went, yeah. Skip forward to 221. Oh no! You could there. I've seen this yeah, before. There we go. Yeah, I, I've made you watch it. Whoa! <laughs> so, yeah, she's cyber hacking. Is she a demon? No, nah, she's nope. a she's a cyberpunk. Okay. Uh, okay. Shadowrun has like literal fantasy uh, people, so she might actually be an orc or something. Uh, the closest. What? It's like Is that a plug in her brain? Yes. I mean, yes, she's cyber hacking. How else do you do it? Jeez, it's like uh, mm. what was that movie? Bright, modern day. We don't bit. talk about that. I never watched well, it. Well, yeah, yeah. We're, not, we're not allowed to because Landis is in Fuck jail. Landis. movie jail. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Cyberpunk's yeah. cooler. <laughs> Shadowrun is like. Was Shadow Bright is like, good? I don't know. I didn't see it. I've heard. No, I heard it was, it was like bad, man. right? But it, yeah. he made like three million off the script or some shit. I don't. Know. Sure. It's cool. Yeah. Know. Well, it's just, this is Tron, guys. Yeah, it is. Come on, this isn't even original. That makes Tron, it cool. Tron was before this. Lawrence, have you seen Summer Wars? Yes. Cool, just check. The Space yeah. Needle. Most intense Mine ruins. Hanafuda match in the wow. world. Wow. In cyberspace, you could go anywhere that I don't want to go. This could be an expansion in cyberpunk. It's, it's pretty could bleak, it, actually. Could it, could it not be? Well, I imagine <laughs> that we'll go inside the cyberspace in cyberpunk. I mean, you, yeah, you, you did in the demo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they went to the data temple. Now they're hacking data nodes. I'm this doing this so for the audio for only. I'm sorry, audio slave. listeners. Yeah, <laughs> it's the end of the podcast. Actually, please, you know what? I'm not sorry. Pretty descriptive. I'm not sorry because you don't have to watch this garbage. Yeah, he's <laughs> listen to Lawrence's watch data cubes. Yeah. She got a oh, but it might have intrusion countermeasures, aka ice. Mm. Watch out! Oh, and man. the Gibson and hackers is definitely influenced by this specific scene. Hell yeah! yeah. This is very influential. That's why I chose. That was it. The uh, uh, phantasmagoria ball is chasing her now because she yeah. no. she hacked too deep. Oh, no, man. she hacked too deep. That's a crappy reference to a crappy video. Don't get That's, brain fried. What the hell is this? <laughs> it's hacking, dude. Yeah, and it's cool. They're like <laughs> they're being chased by the the ball from Phantasm. Oh, oh she, she tripped the alarms. Got to get out. Jack out. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, just pack your keyboard. <laughs> uh, there's a part where the. Uh... <laughs> I love this. This yeah. was meant to promote. Whatever it is, I love it. This is meant to pr- promote the board game. Oh, the pen and paper. Oh, yeah. Shadowrun. Real cool. Cyberpunk. Amazing. Best best way of life is what I describe it. God. Philosophy. Thank you for listening to the Dude Soup podcast. <laughs> uh, we'll be back next week with who knows what. Oh yeah, a couple of announcements for you guys. RTX is this weekend. If you're going, oh, okay. If you're going, uh, we look forward wait, to meeting wait, you next weekend. No, no, no. I was next like, week- what? Uh, I have a flight ne- on Thursday. Next bad. weekend. Next weekend. See you all at RTX. I don't know where I am right now. <laughs> uh, we got bucket hats. <laughs> Who doesn't want to buy a bucket hat? We also got new merch one. coming. Did. Should be oh, up yeah. in the store today. Uh, nice hor- horizontal striped like tee. Sure. Little retro it's, logo. It won't make you bleed. A little Gradius <laughs> style there. Nice. Yeah, I like this one. Uh, store.roosterteeth.com unless we have a I think it's store.fun.house I think was also is that really? still active? Wow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, H-A- HAUS is a fun little uh, URL extension that W3C approved. Are you sure that that works? If that Wi-Fi ever kicks in, we'll know. Yeah, the whole collection it definitely is, has. looks really good oh, at okay. some point. All right. yeah. Anyway, Rooster Teeth store, fun house. We got a new collection, also bucket hats. So check that out. They're not going to sell themselves. Yeah, it's it's resolving. There we go. It just took a while. Yeah. Good. Uh, one last thank you to our incredible uh, community and audience for donating so much money during Funhouse Games Done Slow. Yeah. Over $80,000 unbelievable, has now been passed on to Doctors Without Borders because of you guys and your generosity. So unbelievable. thank you for uh, making that 24 hours fun because it would be pretty sad if we were just by ourselves. <laughs> uh, and thank you for, you know, opening your hearts and wallets. Uh, and I think that's it. So yeah, thank you guys. We'll see you next week. Till then. Bye, everybody. Mostly. Basically, they're all super buff. Uh, but I really love the character design of the leader of the animals, who's just like this super buff woman with like dreads and a hammer. It's mm-hmm. very, very cool and a really cinematic boss fight that like there are uh, all these, I don't know, mole LEDs that pop up and tell you to turn around and go back, and then she just busts through one of them. And mm-hmm. apparently you can miss that entire encounter, or you mm-hmm. can and you can also 